Classmates, friends and family gathered at Warren Easton today to honor Kennedy Belton, who was shot and killed at a sleepover. A bullet that may have been fired by someone accidentally in another room took her life. Sam Winstrom is joining us live at the school tonight with more. Sam. Well, Katie, it was an emotional afternoon out here, not just for Kennedy Belton's family, but for her classmates who lost one of their friends and for her teachers who lost a beloved student. She was my every day, literally my every day. So the fact that she won't be my left, my right, my up, my down, is super hard in me. When Kennedy Belton died, her mother's world changed. Her daughter was just 15 years old, a freshman at Warren Easton High School, when police say she was accidentally shot during a slumber party last weekend. But her mother's not alone. Hundreds of Kennedy's classmates, friends, and family all came out to honor her memory Friday. I feel my best friend in this air and all throughout this school. But as the Warren Easton band played, it was clear that something was missing. The class of 2026 hasn't even finished their freshman year, and they're already down one classmate, one friend, one 15-year-old girl who should be there to graduate with them. I feel helpless but not hopeless, because I promised that girl, until the day my heart stopped beating, it would be my mission to change this. Change this city, change our culture, change it all. And it's these children that are there for Kennedy's mother and give her hope that the world could be a better place. My daughter was loved, and it's just a positive thing to know, which I didn't expect anything other than that, because she's a butterfly. Well, it was an emotional afternoon for everyone here, the students, just children, and the adults as well. It was clear that when Kennedy died, something changed for them, and that her memory should inspire us all to do better going forward. Reporting live from Warren Easton, Sam Winstrom, Eyewitness News.